Welcome everyone to Cat Quest. A game released for numerous platforms starting back in 2017, but eventually made its way to the Switch in combination with Cat Quest 2 as well in like a double pack or possum pack or whatever it's called. So much wordplay, so much hilarious stuff in this game, but this game is actually really great. It is fantastic. It's a very simple RPG-like element game, but it's very fun and addicting despite the simplicity of it. I love it. I wish I actually found this game sooner because I didn't play it back in 2017. I actually played it <laughs> late 2020. It was the first time I ever got um, a chance to play this game, and I have always wondered since then to bring it to the channel, and I finally got the time today. All right. We're gonna go to settings here, and see that it's literally just BGM and sound effects. That's it. There's also language, credits, and back. We're gonna do back, because why not, right? So we're just gonna do a new game here. Um, are you sure? Yeah, so you can only have one save file in this game, so I'm gonna delete my other file that I was, you know, just playing on my own. Let's do this. Would you always be there for me? Always. Sister! Oh no! Who's this? What is going on here? Made by the Gentle Bros. What's happening? She's shining. She's glowing. She just faded. This evil thing. Whatever that is. Those are actually some dragons. Yeah, so you also had an intro a little bit, you know, uh, before I started talking. It's like three lines of intro and that's all. That's the whole premise of the story. That in combination with this is basically the premise of what this, uh, you know what the game leads to. And we just got obliterated by a huge ray of light coming out uh, from the sky. Nice intro, by the way, combining you know like creators, music by, so on and so forth. Ooh, look at this! Look at the symbol that appeared. What is that? And there's a Navi. Is that Navi? All right, so that Paul loading screen at the bottom right corner, um, or symbol, I mean, it's a loading screen. Here we go. Oh, thank goodness you're alive. I'm Spirit, your guardian spirit. Listen, dragons have returned. We need to scurry to a town quickly. We can save your questions for later. Use the left stick to run. Okay. That's cool. So right now it's telling us to, where we can go. There's some money. These white lines are actually, uh, they're borders. They're saying you can't go there yet. Whatever, right? We can check over here. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, Cadventures. Did you know? My god. Did you know that it's sometimes better to wait for an enemy to attack before you attack? Uh, thanks for that random tip. Yeah, that was pretty random, but okay. You can also roll with B, but we'll get introduced to all this in just a little bit. There's some experience right there. Um, here we go. Pause up. A monster's coming. Press the Y button to attack. There we go. A red circle shows an enemy's attack range. Press the B button to roll away. Yeah, you can always see their attack pattern, kind of. And you roll away. Pretty simple. And there we go, you're dead. Got you. You can catnap in towns to heal your wounds. Try it. Let me go over here. Game saved. You don't talk much, do you? Strong, silent type. But don't worry, I'm here to help get your sister back. First, we gotta see what the mark on your head means. Come on, let's find the mage. The mage? Okay, I'm not gonna talk to those people right now, it's fine. Careful of forest too, you can't see what's lurking inside. That's very true. Oh, well we did get some experience from there, some shit, whatever that was, okay. Yes, yeah, so right now it's pretty linear. The mage notices the mark on your head. Meow, that's the mark of the dragon blood. You mean the fable of dragon slayers? But they vanished many years ago. But this is good. That mark means you all can learn magic. Come this way. Okay. Th this is an arcane temple. I'm gonna teach you a spell, so listen up. You have learned flame purr. <laughs> oh, the wordplay. It's funny. It burns enemies and weakens their defenses. Press the L button to cast magic. Yep, that's how you do it. You can also pay money. Gold makes anything stronger. Upgraded flame proof for 100 gold? Mm, not enough gold. Nope. Uh, it's okay. We're gonna get out of here. 
so we got the first magic spell of the game. Come on, let's test your magic on that monster there. You mean the monsters there? Okay, so we're gonna do. Hold up. I was pressing the wrong button like an idiot. Okay. I mean, we did it. We showed it off. You can learn these spells at other temples too, alright? Sounds great. Class complete when we made it to level 2. We get a nice stat bonus in health, attack, and magic. Uh, now's a good time to. Oh, wait. What's that? Let me show the pause menu. So the pause menu is pretty simple. It shows your uh, your health. It shows your uh, what's it called? Like I don't know. It's like MP or magic bar or whatever. Defense. Uh, that's for armor and stuff later. You also have money. Statistics. You can also see health there. The heart symbol. Attack is the sword icon, and magic is that purple whirly thing. So that's the left side. The right side shows all the different armors that you have. There's different things like helms or hats, and they're like body armor and stuff like that. But if you press R, you can go to skills. We have one so far, which is Flame Burn. It says six damage. Okay, not bad, right? Burns and makes enemies take more damage. So yeah, lowers their defenses. Okay, and that's it. You can also, by the way, set your skills to different buttons. Like, for example, you can remove it, but then you can assign it to, like, R. Or you can remove it, and you can assign it to, like, L. So I'm going to put it to L. Uh, but for now, we're going to progress the story still. A ritual circle. What the hell? A dragon! Look, all the town cats are frozen in fear. We need to help them. Magic uses up mana. It's the purple bar. Attacking enemies regenerates mana. Okay, so this here is the first boss battle of the game, but it's actually a very simple one because it's basically an introductory level. Kind of thing, you know? It's pretty simple, to be honest. Just simply do your attack pattern. You can do some fire if you want to, and there we go. That's it. It's hardly a boss. I mean, come on. Seriously. It's a tutorial-like boss. Did you just defeat a dragon? Maybe you really are a dragon blood. Come on, let's go see if the town cats are safe as a whistle. Okay, we're gonna grab our rewards here. Did that kitty just slay a dragon? That mark, isn't that the mark of the dragon blood? We're safe. The dragon blood have returned. My whiskers, it's King Leonardo. <laughs> The kindest and most valiant king of all. Return to your homes, all of you. What? He just disappeared too, huh? What's wrong with the king? Anyway, possum job in that dragon. <laughs> Mr. Dragonblood. Okay, cool. And we got another level up from that. For com completing the quest, we got experience. So that white cat kidnapped your sister, and you end up being Dragonblood? No way is that a coincidence. No furry way. Let's say we pounce to the Capital Quest Board. Sure. The dragons have come. Stay away from Cave Grotto, Neon. Or Nyan, my bad. <laughs> dragons! I bet that white cat's somehow part of this mess. Let's check out this Cave Grotto. Don't forget to catnap often. It creates a save point too. Yeah, I probably should do it. Alright, so by this point I believe the, the game opens up. Uh, so it's relatively simple. Just a couple minutes early on, you know. But... These here are actually side quests. Now, the one over... Yeah, like, I don't think this one actually... No quests available. So you can always, like, for example, the arrow is pointing there. That's the story progression, you know? So that's cool. However, um, if we actually wanted to, we can do some side quests. And I actually highly recommend that you, uh, that you do that because it'll make things significantly easier if you take on some side quests and get a little stronger, you know? So I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Let's come over here. The King's Mage. I'm gonna accept. The King is under a curse. Join the rescue mission at the Arcane Temple today. We should do this. The King needs our help. Okay. So now, uh, it does put the main quest on hold, like the game was saying. We're here to save the King. Finally, a cat has come to our aid. First, we'll need to find the Head Mage. He knows what happened, but he's disappeared. How do we find him? We've got the spell to find the head mage's magical energy, but the locations keep changing. I'll mark them out. Maybe you can investigate. Sounds great. Alright, so we're gonna go over here and follow the prompt thing. You pick up a half-buried potion flask. Cool. There's magical energy trapped inside that flask. Hmm, let's check their locations. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and beat up this thing. I did some kind of attack, but whatever. A monument. Look, there's inscriptions on it. In a, in a time long, long ago, we served the old masters. They created a world and were our gods. 
I wonder if there's more of these. Hmm, the question mark is now gone from there. Okay, I guess we'll get this experience, sure. So now it's pointing us to another thing. All these? Oh, shit. No, no, no. Be careful here. Okay, you're dead. You're dead too. Oh, God. Yeah, those things are kind of weird. I mean, these enemies are pretty simple. God damn it, I took some damage there. Jeez. There we go. Grab all that. I suppose I'll grab this too. Some nice little experience. But yeah, the world is pretty big here. Um, sort of big, I guess. You pick up another half-buried potion flask. Hmm, still no mage kitty. Last place to check. Where? Directly north? Okay, we'll go that way, sure. Yeah, but if you venture out too far, you'll find some enemies that are definitely a lot more powerful than you believe, so just be very careful about that. Where's the headmate? Let's go back for now. Or head back. Okay. I'll grab that experience. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure rolling actually makes you move a little bit faster, but... Alright, now we're gonna go over here. You give the flask to the mage. This is the head mage's magical energy, but why is it in flasks? We're not the mage experts here. Or magic experts. You need some time to investigate here. A little something for you. Check the board again later. And we get a mage hat. Nice, and some experience too. Sweet. Okay. So, yeah, we got this. We can equip it. It actually boosts our magic by two. Let's do it. And now we look hilarious. Okay. Cool. So, let's check out this uh, quest board thing here. So, it gives you a, a level recommendation. You could do it before, but most of the time it'll be under level. So, it says eight. We're not going to do that for now. It's best not to do it. Um, but instead, it's better to, like, check out other stuff if possible for now. So, like, there's also dungeons in here. Like, it's a level three dungeon. Uh, what's this one? That's a level 2 dungeon. Pretty simple, actually. Okay, but we are definitely going to start... Um, ...taking on some stuff. So I'm not going to progress the story yet. I want to do another, some other couple side quests first. What's over here? Blacksmith Assistance. That one is quest level 5. Interesting. I may want to take on that one right now. And there's you over here. You're that dragon blood. Did you know that the deep force behind me is off-limits? Stay away. Shoo, shoo. He's talking about this thing. And yeah, it's actually rough. Uh, these guys over here, they will actually annihilate you, so you gotta be very careful. Um, just gonna try to void my way through over here. And then this over here leads to a level 85 dungeon. Tch, wow. Not doing that shit right now. A monument. Look, there's inscriptions on it. The dragon blood lineage can be traced back to the old masters. Historians have yet to find out why, and perhaps they never will. I wonder if there's more of these. Yeah, we already saw some, dude. Did you forget? Okay, so I definitely want to come over here and, you know, grab this stuff. Nice, we got a level up. Nice stat boost. I think that's all that there is. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, you know, avoid that. And there's some enemies here with these fire attacks. Just be careful, you know, don't get all greedy and crazy. Give me that experience. Okay, let's check out this next town. Meet, me to meet. Okay, so that's another eight right there. Okay, I definitely should, um... Start accepting something, you know? That's a level five. What about this one over here? Level ten? Ooh, there's one of these things here. I'll take this. Okay, now we're gonna go this way because now we can buy a new spell. Basically, every new, ar what's it called, arcane temple thing? We'll let you get a new spell. I'm gonna say yes to this to buy. You can also spend money to upgrade, but I recommend not doing that early on. Maybe the fire spell once would be useful, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna upgrade the flame per once, but after that, I'm probably gonna put a hold on I'm upgrading skills for now. So with that, we can actually check that now it does 11 damage, which is really good. Plus 15 HP. And that's a healing paw. Um, I can put this one like there I guess to heal some HP if I need to okay 
Um, let's see. So yeah, all these are a little crazy. What I'm gonna do is go and go and take on the um the level five one, wherever that was. I think it was down here. Yeah, that one was an eight over there. I think it was this one. Yeah. No way, Kit Kat is looking for a blacksmith assistant. Even dogs from the Lupus Empire commission weapons from her. It's gonna be a good chance for us to get good gear. Sperry! Are you both here for the assistance job? Please say yes. Yes, Master Kit, how can we help? I'm in the middle of a revolutionary new armor, you see, but I need a shipment that's still at East Pot. Think you two sweeties could help me collect? Absolutely, ma'am. We are on the job. So you set on the- oh, that way. Okay. I think this is gonna be a dungeon, I'm pretty sure. We haven't really been over here. Okay, so this was a starting town. That was a starting arcane thing, so I want to see if there's actually anything else. Over... okay, this is Bat Cave. Level 8, I see. Well, we gotta go around, it seems. Oh shit, let's crash some mountains. Here's Beta Ruins, another one of those monument things. This one is level 15. Help us, monsters! Oh, that's the quest thing, yeah. We made it close enough. Monument, inscriptions. The peace the old master has brought did not last long, for the dragons came soon after. Here we go. Look at that damage. Why did I get in there? I'm so freaking dumb. Yeah, but basically, like the game was saying, you actually heal your MP by just doing regular damage. Uh, just, you know, if you use some magic spell, do some regular attacks to get it back up, fill it up again. Alright, we gotta check on the shipment. Kit's shipment, where is it? I have bad news. We sent out a carriage with the shipment, but we haven't heard from it since. What? Look, there's even tracks on the ground we can follow. Oh wow, there's also this, by the way. I should probably do this, it's a new spell. Another 50. Lightning, Lightning Ann? Sure, let's do it. 50 coins for learning a third spell already. Wow. Nice. Well, wow, that's a 250 coin upgrade. Okay, I also want to eventually come and do this one because I'm doing another one right now, but... Like, I want to check if there's something there. I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, shit. God damn. Oh, that was really good right there. Okay. Getting that juicy experience. Okay, so we're gonna follow this pathway here. Somehow it doesn't seem that the roll is, like, faster, but I don't know. The tracks end at this ruin. What till we clear out and search inside? Enemies are either weak to magic or physical attacks. Take note of the color of the numbers that pop out. Sure. Alright, so here, the dungeons are actually fairly straightforward in this game. Um... Oh, shit. Now, as you can see, those things are definitely weak to magic and not physical attacks. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it nice and slow. Oh, wow, I got a nice full heal right there. Getting a nice double hit. Look how good that freaking spell is already. Like, that's that's crazy. Wow, look how many hits I got. Damn it! He burned me. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get away with it or not. Oh my god, I'm actually almost dead. I can't believe it. Dude, I need a heal. What am I doing? I think the carriage got eaten by those monsters. Kid is going to be so sad. Let's report back. Hmm. Anyway, these big chests here are actually locked. You need uh, certain keys. But these smaller chests are not. So I can grab this. What? Chainmail blade. Whoa. Okay, we can actually equip that. It gives us um, plus two attack and plus two armor. Nice. Now we can get the hell out of here. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely weakened. It shows a treasure icon, because I believe we still, I mean... It's like it memorizes it for you? Maybe, I don't, I don't remember that part, but okay. It's sleeping with the fishes. No! That was the new season of House of Parchments. I was look, so looking forward to it. 
Oh wow. We're so sorry we failed you, ma'am. It's alright, here's a reward anyway. Why, you're so nice. Knight armor. Uh, sure, okay. And we made it to level 6. Oh, we just got some nice stat bonuses right there. Okay, we're definitely gonna equip this. This is armor, so that's a helm, armor, and weapon. So now we got even more good stuff. Wait a minute, so that's... I'm confused about that. I said 2. Why did it say 2? I think I actually screwed something up. Oh, I see, I see. It's the yes. Okay. There we go. Fills up and now I'm at yes. Okay. Six out of six. Basically it takes time. If we find any monsters inside, we should scratch them all out, alright? Some enemies have faster attack speeds. Try using longer range of magic to hit them instead. Okay. That's the main quest, like I keep saying. Um That one is still level eight. I mean we're making making some great progress here. I'm gonna go ahead and save, obviously. I haven't done that in a while. However, I want to check the town on the right side. Because we definitely didn't do anything over here yet. Oh wait, no, no, not there. Sorry, I went up to the top right. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. There's also like an island right there. There's just a lot, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Dude, this game is so fun. It is fantastic. Okay, we are going to go to this town over here. Let's see. That's a level 11, the East Suspicion. Okay, so that's definitely not what we want to do. Hell no. Oh, you know one thing I missed? Oh my god, I'm so freaking dumb. I know one thing I missed. Dude. It's this, because see, the, the main qu- yeah, there's- I think there's two here, like, this one was eight, but then this one, isn't this something else? No, it's not. Why am I forgetting something? I thought there was an area where there was like another quest I can do. Oh, it's this place. Dude, I'm so freaking done. This one, the Growling Peasant. I need to find my mother. Please, please help me. Perlies. Okay. Peasant, we're two great warriors here to help you. My mother is missing. I may just make a search spell for me, but it needs a special metal and it's too dangerous for me outside. Where's this metal? It's in the place I marked. We'll find this metal. Where? Over here? Okay, let's see. Oh, it's in this it's in this dungeon. It's in the cave. It'll be tough to search with monsters about. Clear them all out first. It's a level two dungeon. Seaside cave. It should be pretty simple actually. Oh yeah, definitely. Look how much damage I'm doing now. I'm actually quite quite over leveled. I say that I almost got freaking burned. Okay, all dead. Getting some nice experience here. What is this? Ooh, knight armor level four. Yeah, so when you get like it's like duplicates, um, it actually ends up increasing it if that makes sense. Um. Like, it just, instead of having duplicates, it just buffs up your current, which is actually really fantastic, if I'm being honest. Like, that's really good. But that's how that works. Right, money, more experience. You find a strange metal helmet buried in the dirt. That's it, the creepy looking helmet. Hmm. Okay. We are basically done here. We have explored this whole dungeon, so we can get out. Hey you, come here. The hell? I see you're helping that crazy cat. You mean that growling peasant? Before this, he was saying something about hearing voices in his head. And then he suddenly started that furry growling out of nowhere. That growling's not normal, huh? Anyway, I just wanted to warn you. See ya. Well, that's not good. The hell? It's actually quite scary. Something can happen. Something can happen. You give the town cat the strange looking helmet. You found it, yes, this will be. Help me. What? He's up to something. There's some shady shit going on here. Here's a reward. Oh, thank you. I get a ranger hood, level one. That just gives me health. I'm gonna actually avoid that. I don't think I need to do that yet. Um, catnip ritual, level three. Growling kitty's back. 
The maid said my mother is trapped in the curse. We'll need to conduct a catnip ritual to break it. How did your mom get into this mess? Here's some catnip. Sprinkle it around those bushes. I'll join you later. Okay. Sure. Sprinkle some catnip around the bush. Down goes catnip here too. And there goes the last dash of catnip. Excellent. Now step into the center of the triangle. What the hell? By the god cat, we need to get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. I just annihilated him with my fire magic. What was that peasant thinking? Seriously. The ritual circle broke. This guy's up to something really, really shady. What the hell, man? That was dangerous. I'll have your whiskers for this peasant. I didn't know what happened. Honest. I'll put another notice later. Here's your reward. Oh no, dude. Ranger vest, level 2. Alright, let's see what's next. Level 6 in the circle. Let's do it. The mage has found something new about my mother. Please help me. The mage has found the next step to freedom. My mother's freedom, of course. Freedom! You're really suspicious, you know that. Leave me outside, I'll tell you what to do. What do you mean outside? We're already here. Oh, you mean over here. Okay. Got it. Stand over there. Good, now run clockwise three times. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Now anti-clockwise two times. Are you kidding me? This guy's trolling us. This guy's totally trolling us. They're happy. Barry, look, it's working. God, cat, it's that circle again. Oh jeez. Prepare yourself. What's happening? Any time now. <laughs> Any fuzzy time now? Is that it? Fuzzballs for real? See? No monsters this time. There's a bit more left to do. Check the board later. Here's a reward. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. This guy is such a troll, seriously. Um, we should probably rest here. Okay, actually, I got something good there. Um, this one gives two... This one gives four health. But another, another point of attack. I'll just do it, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna rest here for sure. Alright, let's see. What is, um... What's next? Level 10. Definitely a little a little under level for that shit right now. Uh, what what about all these? I can do this. I'm level seven. I can do this. Okay. Hello, you. Ancient spell. The spell trapped his magic energy in flasks. What? What do we do now? We made a potion that will return the head mage's magic energy once he drinks it. The mage gives you a potion flask, but we don't know where he is. The magic energy kept reaching out to one place where we were making the potion. I'll mark the spot for you. Okay, so up in the top left, it seems. Sounds good. Let's make our way over. I can't believe we have not progressed the story at all. But hey, this is this is fun, you know. It's just fun doing all these side quests. I mean, we want to do them all anyway, so... It's all good. There's no one here. But I see tracks. Let's follow them. They're leading this way. He just went round the long way. Losing his magic energy must have messed up his brain. Two? <laughs> he just goes around again. He must have been mindlessly making rounds. These tracks lead to that cave. Those monsters inside might hurt him. Defeat everything inside. Sure. Loot cave. Okay, so this is definitely... I gotta be a little more careful in these because um, it says level 8. And of course I get hit the first time I say that. Okay, whatever. That was some good experience right there. 
Okay, that's actually not bad, I would say. Okay. Yeah, there's two ways. We'll take the one up here first to grab these stuff. Money and experience. Oh shit, it's these enemies. These things are actually very annoying um, because they have that crazy horizontal attack. Make sure to avoid standing horizontal from them. Alright, and then over here there's another one of these. All done. Okay, there's actually two treasures in here. It's an upgrade. Hell yeah. Look at that. Okay, and then there's this one here. That's the ranger one? Your ranger vest. Health goes up. Nice. Okay, it was good that we hit all three. You catch a glimpse of a town cat leaving the cave. After him! Let's do it. And that's it for here. Yeah, there's only a big chest here that we can't open yet. Headmage Kitty. He's not responding. Hurry, give him the potion. You help the town cat drink the potion. What the hell? You saved me, thank you. We're here to save the king. Do you know what happened to him? A white cat appeared in the cat cat piddle and cursed the king. I tried to stop him, but that's why I lost my magic. How do we destroy the curse? I'll find out how. My mages will contact you. Take this as a reward. Awesome, got a mage staff. That's true. Alright, so... It's all good that we did that. Now, we're, now we are level 8, so... Oh, that's actually level 10. I believe there was a level 8 over here, but we're going to actually do that one next time. We're going to keep these videos around 30 minutes or so. So I'm going to accept it. But yeah, we're definitely going to be done. Meet, meet, meet. Wow. Yep, I'm helping you. Furbulous meat. Help us find some meat. Okay, go find the meat. Alright, so before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.